couldn't get them there. You know. it, it, it's, it's, all, it's a bit much. So we're 40 seconds in. They're brought down the corridor. It's the same three gorillas, and well, I don't know now. I mean, it might not be the same three gorillas and because they think, just changed the handlers. I don't think until this second that I realized that they were the ones that were the superior males being brought in to breed. I, I mean, the gorillas, it. so clearly not. Yeah. Gorillas are brutes. But if you're, if you're going to breed gorillas, you've got to bring in gorillas unless you want to. I don't think you can crossbreed. I was about to eggs. say, unless you want to, what would that be, a chip, chimp gorilla? There, there's, there's nothing that made me believe that Caesar is now the smart one. There's nothing that gave him the prop to let him move along to this moment. But if you had done what we've talked about, where you right. stage these things and there's a progress chart, then he's suddenly put to the top of the chart, and that's why he gets to go have lovey time. So what cracks me up is 44 seconds in, we actually – so they, they're, they're pulled in this hallway. Mm-hmm. We're still in the mall. We're still in the outdoor mall. Like This reminds me of like an apartment I had in like 1990s where yeah. all the all – the, the hallways were outside, yes. but the doors were kind of, but it felt like a hallway still. Mm-hmm. And it'd get, be crazy cold uh, every time the wind would blow, but you'd get into your apartment and it'd still be crazy cold because there was no exterior. There was all large exterior walls. So they come down this hallway and he, they peer into what appears to be something across the hallway, but we don't see mm-hmm. what they're peering into. We just cut to a shot. Of a come that hither room. chimpanzee in a boudoir, which I said, get the fuck out of here with batting of the eyes and the playful setting well, and the she, red cushions. She, come on. She's she's on like a kind of a red bed recliner. It's not a bed so much as it's like a kind of a couch. Yeah, and a feigning couch. A feigning couch. Chaise lounge. Yes. So she's on a chaise lounge, and it's red. And then there's like half of a weird comforter or pillow that's by her knees. And then a little stand that looks like a nightstand that's in there. And all she's, the, you know, all the things that apes really need a nightstand and a comforter. And, and she's poised in her gorilla uniform. Uh huh. In repose. In repose. She's turned, her knee is up, her right hand is over her left knee, her left arm is pulled back, and they've got one light on her, so her shadow is harsh on the wall. And she kind of bats her eyes. And for two seconds, I thought it was Lisa. And they may, Me too. I did too. And they may have just brought her in to kind of do this because they had the makeup and sets, to, the, the, the makeup on her to kind of let us know that it was the, – the, that the actor's close enough. Maybe they wanted to reuse her so that there is some similarity between the two It's a different actress. It, you looked it up? Yeah. There, she is listed as her, – her credit, chimpanzee selected mate with Caesar. That is her credit. Her name was Maxine Bo, Botello. I'm not really sure I'm saying that correct. So they they cast someone to be in there for that. Fine. Shh. But then don't have her do Natalie Trundy's gimmick, which is the whole batting, of the, batting eyes. of the eyes. Do something different. And holy crap, if you're going to do this, do apes ever get sexy time? Well, here we go. You it's, ready? It, when, when a female oh is in heat, I the skin are, this is what the, should have actually I, happened in the movie, right? Okay. When a female's in heat, the skin around her genitals becomes pink and swollen, a clear sign, uh, a clear sexual signal to males. If a female is interested in a male, she'll put her swollen bottom right up in his face. That should have been the move. <laughs> Caesar walks in. Is that why she, you're always putting your bottom in my face? Let's go to work, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. But, wow. yeah, that's what it should have been. She, he walks in the room. She looks at him, just turns around and sticks his ass in his face. And yeah, says, but, Let's go to work. So, so uh, she gives a come hither, and I, she kind of traces her right hand up her left leg. And I don't. I I just. There's nothing that lets me know that she's not uh, Lisa. Well, not well. Not that she's not Lisa, but just this idea that they have these sexy chimps and gorillas ready to like just do that it. They have conjugal visit times, right? Yeah. yeah. There was nothing to kind of lead into this. And then Caesar pauses. He kind of turns his heads up, looks at her briefly, like, "Yeah, is that Lisa? Well, what's? Oh, I know what's going on." He's like, "Yeah, let's do well, it." Well, then Roddy even gives a, a little look, like. I'll take oh, one for the team. Here we go. I needed a build up or something, and they're on. they she's on a chaise lounge with a nightstand and like a, a pillow. It, it just it's it's bad. You see him guys. open it's a bottle really, of champagne. Really bad. Yeah, lights a candle. It it's bad. really bad. Feeds her a chocolate strawberry. So I, I don't even need the moment of sexy gorilla him going in. It should have just been once again a cattle call. Just 
taking them well, in, and, and it, mean, he sees another. We see a female chimp in there, and they put him in the room. I don't need all these reactions. The, I don't, I don't, need, I don't this. need. I don't Hell. need human like. Yes, interactions for like uh, because that's a am I supposed to be thinking let's she's hot? In. Oh yeah, let's go in there and Honestly, get it on. What they would be doing is everything would be artificial insemination. They'd be strapping the males down, right, right, right getting right. the semen, strapping the females down, harvesting eggs. Then you see them put together and then put it in the female. Right. Yeah. So just so you know, uh, the apes lined up in front of these ape apertures yeah. and prodded by their handlers disappear inside. Uh, as uh, on a prod one from a handler, he enters a lot of aperture. He stares at something, blinks, then shrugs a grin of resignation. The object of Caesar's attention is to him a voluptuous female chimpanzee, and her uh, attitude makes plain that she's ready for festivities to begin. <laughs> festivities. <clears throat> so there you go. Let's get to fucking. What? What? I, well, the other thing that I noted is, that, of course, the the apes are like, man, like they do the scene where Caesar's like, okay, it's let's do it. And they cut sh- to the shot of the corridor, and they have the three gorillas and, and, and Caesar all like, let's bound into these rooms. Like, yeah. they all walk in at once. I guess the, the, the gorillas and chimpanzees in the rooms were all gave the same come hither. Because, like, all right, let's do it. What I found fascinating is that the two handlers for four apes lead them in the room, and then they walk off. There's no, like, we're they locking make the door. Sure that they get in there. Yeah. We're, 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 there's no, like, no securing the facility. No yeah. securing the facilities, yeah. They just, like, Cool. All Let's right. go. They're going to do it. Yeah, it just – yeah, they just uh, – yeah. It's funny how sexy love time has the three of us just going, uh, oh, God. Man, I am all into sexy love time. But there's some reality to this that is not here. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Uh-huh. And yeah, 100%. That's all I can say. It's just I was so grossed out by her look. That I found myself it, like I need this minute to be over. Yeah. It was it was it was weird. I mean, that's not. I mean, had it, we seen had we seen them like getting drugged like a few minutes earlier, where they're all like, uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's just, yeah, it's weird to put that kind of humanity on what are supposed to be animals at this point, not smart, you know. And if you're gonna the, build, the, go ahead. I'm sorry. To your point, it should have been like. A machine. It mm-hmm. should have been like a very sterile process, yeah. or something that kind of leads into the fact that he's kind of relenting to what what the system is for him. Or if they're going to build this, that we want to breed smarter apes. If you're going to have that conversation again, that would allow these conversations to open up. There should have been an element of the training to where they were ascertaining. And you know, somebody comes up and says, "And don't forget to let me know if you find any that would be good for the insem- insemination program." Then if you said that and they're pulling people off the lines, then it makes sense when they pulled them and put them in that room. But it's just this arbitrary nature of, hey, it's time to go fuck. And I'm not yeah. sure that I think Planet of the Apes is fuck time. But it doesn't make sense in terms of the, the, the context of the movie at this no, point. No, it doesn't. Particularly in the next minute. The next minute makes no sense either for the same reason. Like these two things juxt- juxtaposed mm-hmm. don't work for me. Yeah, I need an explanation of this minute. And then the next minute should have been the, this minute. Yes. Yeah, there, there are a couple times in this movie where I've kind of thought that that if you flipped a moment, right? I, even with what I complained about with seeing the little baby chimps, if I'd seen the baby chimps after they got lovey time, and then I understand, you know, and what's happening, what's going well, but, on. But, but then that would insinuate also that the the gestation period is like three seconds, yeah. and they're popping out babies. Well, so true. I, yeah, you're right. You're right. But this next that. moment doesn't make any sense in terms of right. Sorry. Well, do you know how we find out about that tomorrow? We tomorrow. shut it down today and come back tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Friday or Thursday? Friday. 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 Today's Thursday. Do you not remember? No, I Come don't on, Richard. Remember. God almighty. Just kidding. Damn it. You, you just, you're letting me down, Richard. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's Thursday, everybody. Yeah. Let's just finish this week. Come you on. know what? Let's I'm get so, to tomorrow. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. Everybody have a great day. Bye. Happy Friday tomorrow, everybody. Uh, Happy Friday. Bye, everybody. Bye.